Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for a care package installment today. So I'm pretty excited um, to look through the stack of goodies that you see in front of you here. Um, these arrived completely unexpectedly um, recently, just this past week, from my longtime friend, a uh, friend of the channel, but also a, a friend, you know, personally, uh, outside of even cards and YouTube for uh, going way back now. Uh, both myself and my family, uh, my buddy Caleb. Um, he does have a YouTube channel, um, which I will link to, uh, where he does food reviews with uh, his buddy Mike. They're they're pretty entertaining, um, and so I'll definitely leave a link below. And I have talked about Caleb before uh, on the channel because he's been kind enough to send me uh, packages in the past. So um, we haven't been able to see each other recently. COVID's been raging and the busy holiday schedule and my work's been little bit crazy, but um, Caleb took a few minutes and uh, put together a completely surprise bubble mailer for me. I had no idea this was arriving, um, just showed up and I just pulled these contents out of it here um, just to save a little bit of time on the video. But I want to take a look at what Caleb sent. Now, a lot of this, as you can tell, is going to be unopened product. Uh, I am not planning on opening all of these in today's video. I, I tend to kind of drag on for long enough as it is. That's just my nature. And uh, so I'm going to save a lot of these for future episodes um, and likely do some Rippin' with Leo installments. But let's take a look at what uh, Caleb sent. Let's get into this here. So I'm um, excited about this first one. This is a Donruss pop-up card, and I have zero experience opening these. I, I remember these um, from collecting in the 80s and early 90s, and obviously you can tell here from the graphic um, sort of what this is, but it's an oversized pop-up card that has kind of that 3D effect, very similar to like the pop-up children's books that uh, we all read or that maybe some of you read to your kids um, these days. So that's pretty cool. You get one pop-up card inside and then some puzzle pieces so of a uh, Clemente puzzle. So pretty cool there. Um, Caleb, I'm assuming, scored these at a local hobby shop, although he'll certainly maybe provide some context in the comments. But there is a uh, a shop in Plainfield, Connecticut that he and I frequent sometimes that I know has a lot of discount packs. And so I'm wondering if these may have come from there. But anyway, um, here's another cool product, oversized, just like that uh, Donruss pop-up that we saw. Tops big. Um, these were great back in the late 80s. Um, basically kind of harkened back to like the early to mid 50s, the, the oversized cards that Tops was producing at the time. This is a third series. Um, you can kind of even see it a little bit through the wrapper, but these had really, really nice cartoon backs drawn on them. Uh, I've got a, a Greg Brock here <laughs> in this pack, and then six other cards that will remain a mystery for today. So this is awesome. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, Caleb. It was so cool finding these uh, in the mailbox by surprise. Here's a uh, Fun Foods Baseball Buttons. 133 top stars, and in this pack, you get three buttons. So obviously, you know, back in the day, I would have put these on my uh, my L.L. Bean school bag, probably, in grade school, but pretty cool, and something you don't see all that often. Um, other than the Tops Big, these other two products that we looked at first, the Donruss uh, pop-ups and these buttons, I have never opened before, so those will be a cool experience. Um, here's another one. This is a PGA Tour Pack from Pro Set, 12 photo cards and a PGA Tour Pro Set discount card. So I actually do enjoy uh, golf cards. I'm not much of a golfer other than the driving range and mini golf, which I do enjoy, um, but I admire the sport. And I have a couple of uh, slabbed golf cards, believe it or not, in my collection that I'm planning to get to you know, at some point in the future of the channel. So what I may do is save this and do an episode where I bust this open and uh, show one of my slabbed golf cards along with it. So, um, And then obviously Caleb will know what this means, but golf kind of has a uh, special meaning uh, between he and I and uh, a family member of mine. So it's pretty touching that uh, he included this pack in there. Um, the goods just keep coming here. Here's an Opeachy stickers pack from 1988. This is fantastic. 30 cents at the time. I've never opened one of these. I think I feel a stick of gum in here. Uh, maybe I'll be brave enough to try that, but most likely not. Um, so those will be cool. A lot of big names, obviously, that were in the league that could potentially come out of this pack from the late 80s. You know, Lemieux, Patrick Waugh, um, Gretzky, and so on and so forth. 
So that'll be fun. Uh, here's a product I've never heard of before. Defective Comics Trading Cards. So that, I have never heard of Defective Comics, and I've certainly in turn never heard of the trading card set that they produced. Um, what intrigues me about this one, we have seven cards and one foil card included in here. So based on how this wrapper looks, uh, pretty excited to see... Uh, Excited to see what awaits inside that pack. So I, I love randomness, in case you can't tell from having stopped by my channel uh, over the past year or so. And uh, Caleb knows that, and he is definitely right on point with this delivery. Um, check out this. This is a Series 1 pack of rock cards. This wrapper is incredible. Um, look at the like hologram effect here. That is one of the most wild wrappers that I have ever seen. Um, I've mentioned this many times, but I am a huge music buff. Um, if it weren't for trading cards, I would probably be spending all of my money on uh, vinyl and concert tickets, but um, it's definitely probably my second favorite hobby right behind trading cards. Um, Caleb knows that. We talk about music quite a bit. He's actually a very accomplished drummer, and uh, I am absolutely looking forward to busting this open, maybe more so than you know any of the other packs that we've looked at in this package. And then last here on the unopened front. This is just uh, so touching. 1990 Topps Baseball. This was it for me uh, to get me started in the hobby. I opened packs exactly like this single standalone wax pack, you know, in that summer of 1990, and that's what gave me the itch. Um, had gotten into the hockey release from Topps and Opeechee the winter before, and so this was the first spring in 1990 where I was a sports card collector and man, I, I just have so many memories of opening these green wax packs. And uh, it's really, really cool that Caleb threw one in here. I have not opened one of these in probably 25 to 30 years. So this is going to be a great trip down memory lane and uh, will absolutely be featured in its own throwback video. Um, just really touching that you included that one. Thank you, Caleb. And then lastly, we have a small stack of cards here and right on the top we got a bogart so that's why i've pulled out the background that i have for today's video uh, on the right we have a very nice bogart's uh short print image variation from the future stars game this came via my buddy brian over at walkenbach and then on the left here is my awesome custom card of xander the great on the 90 tops design fittingly um, that was created by my hobby friend jt Triple Crown 24. And uh, before we get into the contents of the packet here, did want to give a quick shout out to JT. Um, he has recently started up a podcast, a uh, recurring uh, podcast on his YouTube channel. I believe the plan is to do one weekly, um, but it's, it's really cool. Highly recommend you check it out. Um, it's related to the angle of psychology as it relates to sports cards, which is a fascinating topic. Um, there's been two episodes already. Uh, the first one featured Mike, a uh, baseball collector, talking about the PSA set registry with JT. And then the second one, which I have yet to catch but is on my watch list here, uh, features the great Ed Weskergriff and is a discussion on collecting Juan Soto cards. So um, hugely excited for your new venture, JT, and uh, looking forward to supporting that. And I uh, would just encourage anyone who's not familiar with the Triple Crown 24 YouTube channel. Definitely check the link below. Uh, in addition to Caleb's channel, I will leave a link to JT and uh, highly recommend you check him out. So here is the contents of the little team set bag here from Caleb to finish things off. And we start off with a beauty. I adore the Topps Fire set every year. This is a power and pride insert. Looks great in the blue. And uh, we have here the flag of Aruba. Uh, Xander's home nation so just awesome card there um, this is one that I 100% do not have um, I've mentioned this but I'm working on properly inventorying my Bogarts player collection and um, up right around 300 total cards 275 unique something like that but um, I, I'm nowhere near done cataloging um, but absolutely don't have that one so that's gonna be another new number in that quest as, as uh, uh, is this one, a Dominators Xander, and this is the Fireworks, and maybe Pink Fireworks 
version. So I showed one of these uh, pink fireworks of a Mookie Betts card recently and commented on it. And here we have Xander. Just an awesome effect by Panini. It really does look like the fireworks are exploding as you kind of tilt the card around. And again, uh, two for two, Caleb. That is another Xander that I 100% did not have for that player collection. Uh, really motivated here as we get closer and closer to spring to uh, get back on the baseball train. I've been picking up a lot of hockey this winter, but Caleb is sort of giving me the uh, the Jones in here for baseball. Um, here's another great one. This is based on the 51 Bowman design, but done in modern card, uh, card size and shinied up. I have looked at this one many times on Com C, but never actually pulled the trigger. So that's actually a three for three start to these Xanders. Um, that is very difficult to do, Caleb. Um, I, I've just got so many Bogarts cards, but you've chosen well. Uh, here's a gold label, I believe from 2020, I want to say. Just beautiful rainbow foil here as well. And again, uh, positive, having just gone through the exercise here of cataloging my Xanders, that that's another new one. Um, they just keep coming. Here is from uh, 2021 Topps Chrome. Here's a prism, or I've also heard it called the snakeskin refractor of Xander with the green monster making an appearance behind him there. Another fantastic card and another one that I do not have. A uh, huge injection here to the, the Bogarts PC with today's delivery. And man, we have three more here that are top loaded. Um, check this out. Finest Warriors. This is a refractor, although I believe all of these may have been refractor, these inserts. But either way, this is refractor technology and it's die cut. And I want to say this is like a blue parallel because I'm fairly certain I have a version of this card that is not blue like this. Um, this is from the 2014 Finest set, I believe, as well. Yep see the date there. So this is a rookie year Xander Bogarts die cut insert from Finest. I mean, that is simply fantastic. Um, I am 100% certain I don't have this one either. And that just looks stunning um, in the light here. Beautiful card. Look at how that thing refracts. Um, just amazing. I really can't thank you enough, Caleb. You're, you're blowing me away here. Got two more in there, and they're sort of equally as impressive. So check this one out. I don't know what this is called. I'm thinking some kind of a speckled refractor, but we go from the rookie year 2014 Tops Finest to the most recent Tops Finest. Check this one out. Um, I, I believe this is known as like a speckled foil refractor or a speckled effect. Uh, I'm not overly familiar with the 2021 Finest set, but man, this is, as a lover of all things shiny and a lover of Xander Bogart's cards, this is a match made in heaven. And I'm just noticing now, um, I certainly owe you some cardboard, Caleb. This, it's a little bit tough to make it out, but this is card number six of 50. I mean, that is... Nothing to scoff at. Any card numbered that low, you know, 50 or below, if you know if you're a player collector. Um, to me, anyway, that's sort of the threshold where when you get a 50 or lower, things start to get pretty difficult. Um, and so that is no small card that Caleb took the time to track down and send my way. Simply fantastic. And then man, last but not least, here's another numbered Xander that I didn't have. And this features my favorite effect as far as baseball parallels go, the Atomic, or in the world of Panini, Cracked Ice. Look at this 1990 Bowman throwback card featuring Xander. This is numbered out of 150, and it features that amazing, amazing, amazing Atomic effect that, as I said, is you know probably my favorite effect on any parallel card um, that Tops has ever produced. Um, just absolutely love and adore Atomic. Um, that, that card is an absolute home run, as was everything in this package. So, you know, for all those amazing Xander cards, sorry, Caleb, 
uh, and for all these amazing packs that I will get to in the future. And uh, more importantly, just for your friendship and for being an awesome person, uh, thank you so much. You are, you are just a solid guy. I'm so happy to call you my friend, uh, not just in the hobby, but uh, in life. Can't wait to see you soon. And uh, I thank you so, so much for this absolute home run of a care package. So thank you to Caleb. Uh, please go check out his channel. And uh, in the meantime, to everybody else, I will certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care.